How did social hierarchy work in ancient Rome? Right at the top of the pack were citizens. All who were considered Roman belonged to this class, although they only made up a minority of the population. As Rome was incredibly patriarchal, the women and children were almost considered the property of a Roman citizen, with most legal rights only extending to them via the male head of the family. Next came freed slaves. Although technically Roman citizens, there was a stigma around their former slave status which could take generations to overcome. Foreigners came next. Each city had their own set of rules in this area. Some allowed the right to trade, others allowed foreigners to marry into the Roman world. Right at the bottom were the slaves. Legally, they had very few, if any, rights at all. However, their saving grace was the fact that mistreating slaves was looked upon with disdain within Roman culture. 